chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Lagos State, has now dropped a bond share over the activities of Sunday Bo and Nambekano, two notable secessionists in the southwest and southeastern parts of the country, respectively. Joy Bukwe described both men as being agents of the PDP's Democratic Party, going around deceiving people of their region with secession secessionist activity and actions. Nnamdi since 2014 has been at the forefront of many secessionist activities in the Southeast. He was arrested by security agents in Lagos State on the 14th of October 2015 and charged to court for various treasonable offenses allegedly committed by him. He spent about a year in jail before he is eventually released after Senator Enyin Naya Abaribe bailed him out. Kanu later joined Bay and has come dead from the country after his release. His group, the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOP, was proscribed a terrorist organization by an Abuja Federal High Court in 2017, effectively making Kano and his followers terrorists. On his part, Sunday Igbo, Adeyomo, named after his stan, a Yoruba businessman and activist, sorry about that, he became a quite popular in the region after his activities in the Modokeke Ife crisis in 1977. He became more popular on social media in January after reports suggested that he had given killer headsmen in Ibarampa an ultimato to leave the land after the death of one daughter, one daughter Aborodo. Since then, Sunday, Igbo has been largely seen as the uh, pro gentle of secessionist activities in the southwest. However, Joey Bukwe, a publicity secretary of the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State and special advisor to Governor Sawulu on drainage and water resources, has now made a new revelation as to the identity of these two men. According to Joe, both Sunday Igbo and Namdekano are members of the opposition party's Democratic Party, PDP, and they are deceiving a lot of Nigerians in their respective regions that gullibly follow them. Sid, okay, he said, the revelation made by the APC chieftain is a quite controversial one. If Namdekano, okay, he said, both are PDP members deceiving gullible Nigerians in the Southeast and the Southwest. The revelation made by the APC chieftain is a quite controversial one. If Namde Kanu and uh, Sunday Igbo are truly members of a political party, it means that the activities and secessionist cause may not be genuine. It may also mean that the motives of their actions against the state may be purely political and that they are riding on the secessionic emotion of their followers. However, this is based on a May may absorption that Joe Ibukwe is right. All right, someone said the truth, but they have become positively relevant in the welfare of their people more than the government. If Boko Haram bandits, terrorists, federal approved gunmen, and um, unknown gunmen are authorized to be chieftains and appointees under APC led federal government, then who are we to deny these two great men? of the fundamental right, human right, not to participate in politics on that PDP platform. I don't know why this government is good in, uh, you know, blaming the opposition party and all that. These people, they are agitating. Why can't this government listen to them and stop all this blame here and there? They are saying something. Listen to them. That is the most important thing. Stop all this blame. Nobody is ready to hear all this blame here and there. The government is failing today. The APC government is blaming the PDP that they did not do well. They do this and this and that and all that. But when they are coming to the government, they promise change to the people. Now you are here. Do something. You they blame the other person. This is very, very clear. You see, somebody did something wrong. 
and you came. You, you want to do, you want to change it. You want to change it. Why can't you just follow your path and forget what the other person did? That is what Nigerians are saying. They, if this APC government don't put uh, aside PDP, uh, PDP issues, they are not going to go anywhere. 2023 is just here. They've not done anything. Since they assume power, trouble from one to another. There is no day in this country someone will wake up and uh, you will not hear one or two, three, five, six bad news. Somebody died and all that. Lives are no longer valued. Somebody is there talking about PDP. Is PDP the one killing people? See, these things are practical, and we are seeing it with our eyes. People are there carrying AK-47. What is the government doing about these things? What is the government doing about the, the, the killings of innocent Nigerians? What is the government doing about the marginalization some regions are crying about? These are the key problems. If the government can see these things through, I believe this problem will end. You cannot just come out and start to say something. First of all, at least you would have asked yourself, what gave birth to this agitation? What are their points? Then you can say whatever thing you want to say. Try to listen to them. That is what Nigerians are saying. Listen to the voice in the wilderness that are crying. This government, you have a lot to do. You hold the Nigerian citizen a lot. You guys have to face what is on ground. Stop passing blame to any other person out there. So guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. Bye for now.